a lot of people, a lot of streamers are like trying or a lot of streamers are even talking about like whether or not playing, whether or not they should play the new JK Rowling Hogwarts. I mean, it's not even JK Rowling, but like the new Hogwarts legacy game, which I personally think is good that they're even having that conversation. Like that's an unimaginable conversation that streamers would be having behind closed doors, in my opinion. Like the fact that people are like, wow, this is actually like JK Rowling is very anti-trans like maybe we shouldn't play this like that's fire okay um my own personal opinion on on this sort of commodity consumption is that like it's silly as fuck you know what i mean it, it's just so insanely silly like i don't give a fuck uh i like if i don't play this on stream or don't play it in general it will be because it's one a most likely mid okay or two b uh, too much backlash and it's not worth it like I'll just I'll just explain it like that so that we get that out of the way because I personally don't give a shit about that and I think it's so silly uh, I don't think people are going to genuinely be able to make a consumer side like a uh, boycott on a game like this and not only that but also it's it's counterproductive as well like it, it's just so stupid like you're not like J.K. Rowling already is make, has made the money off of uh, Harry Potter. You know what I mean? Like she already did it. Like you're what? what you think like you're uh, you're you're destroying Harry Potter or something? Like what the fuck? It's like getting mad at going to the Universal Studios Harry Potter world. You know what I mean? Because J.K. Rowling is associated with the brand. It's like it's done. She's a billionaire. I don't know if you guys know that. And also like she didn't make this game. A bunch of developers did right do you think you're gonna create transphobes by playing this <laughs> what <laughs> no <laughs> yeah uh, like thousands of people worked on the game we have developers in this chat that have worked on the game like i just don't give a shit uh overall on consumer uh activism of that sort because like the game is also being seen as anti-semitic because of the story that is even funnier it's like yeah okay like every video game we play has like weird ass fucking plot points that you could consider. I don't know if it is. JK Rowling has made like the whole goblins that are like the anti-Semitic depictions of Jewish people happen to control all the money or whatever. But like, you know, I play COD all the fucking time and you guys love that shit. You know what I mean? So as far as, as far as like, oh, the goblins are this or whatever the fuck. Yeah, I play... I play video games with like expressly and openly imperialist uh, uh, propaganda baked into its main storyline deliberately. So me playing that plot point and like looking at the the uh, story in and of itself is certainly uh, going to be, uh, is, is certainly going to be fun regardless. But I do think overall, it's probably going to be is it is it a warner brothers game if it's a warner brothers game it's probably going to be mid um i don't know we'll see <laughs> but the idea that like you know you're going to be able to do like uh consumer side uh boycotting on a fucking game that like most people don't give a shit about is is absolutely silly don't say that wb are the only ones who give you sponsor okay shut up yeah w Warner Brothers games are fire. I know you're right. I don't know why I said it like that. Yeah, people boycotting just want to feel like they are uh, doing something. Exactly, 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 exactly. Literally a reskin game, dude. Come on. Look, I've talked about this a million times over. Like, I I don't even give a shit enough about this game to like uh, withstand the backlash. But my point ultimately was that uh the fact that people are even talking about like potentially not playing this or the fact that like a lot of people know that jk rowling is a piece of shit is good number one number two what i was uh trying to say was like hey look if you're gonna play the game if a lot of streamers are like uh definitely interested in playing the game if they don't want to i wanted to potentially do like a fundraiser where you just it's not you don't have to do it but i wanted to do a potential fundraiser where everyone who plays the game would then uh you know donate the proceeds or raise funds for trans lifeline or or charities that we pick 
However, however, I do think that the negative backlash towards me would probably be way larger than like anything else, no matter how much we raised. So it's just like, I don't care enough to play this game. You know what I mean? Will I play the game ultimately, uh, even if it is to cover it? Yeah, most likely. But uh, uh, do, I, do I play it online? Do I play it live? People saying just play a different game aren't even seeing the point of jumping on an already controversial game which brings eyes and more funds to charity. Exactly. And I personally think it would be funny to... I, I do legitimately think it's funny to, to fucking use J.K. Rowling's uh, like IP to raise money for funds, uh, to raise funds for charities. Ultimately, I'm not like that big of a Harry Potter geek. So it doesn't really matter to me, but I do think that there is humor in that regardless of the fact that like she makes money. I know that you are, you keep sending me that like royalties check uh, tweet over and over again. But, um, when you, when you consistently talk about like the royalty check, like you, what you'd fail to understand is that like, she's a billionaire. Like you're, she's getting those motherfucking, she's getting those motherfucking checks, whether she already sold. You're basically admitting to the libs in here and on Twitter that they control your stream. Fuck them and their backlash. Yeah, I just, it's too much headache. Yeah, it's way too much. Yeah, I just don't want to hear motherfuckers chirp nonstop. It like ruins my mood. And the reality is that like, they can't fucking stop transphobia. They can't stop JK Rowling from being a transphobe. She's a fucking billionaire. So, but what can they do? Make me want to kill myself by being annoying every day in the stream. So they will do that instead. They can't get J.K. Rowling to kill herself, so they'll try and get the Twitch streamer who like raised money potentially for, for the the uh, trans charities of choice to kill himself instead. Somebody ultimately has to kill themselves in the end of this, okay? For liberals to be happy. What is this, Devin Art? I just don't care. After this long, check Devin Art's message. Hassan, a trans friend of mine, worked really hard to make the game trans exclusive in the character creation section. I think what you do is good. Please check this. Yeah, there's like, that's the funniest part is that there are like literal trans people and shit working on the fucking video game. <laughs> it's just like, there are people in this community that have worked on this video game. This kind of, this kind of boycotting is just so silly regardless, but whatever. It's actually a good idea. And anyone thinks otherwise either woke scolding or doesn't know how content works. You're saying you'll be raising money for charity. Against the exact things people say are the reasons you shouldn't play the game. Play the game. Call J.K. Rowling a trans woman. Donate huge money to our trans brothers and sisters and MBs. Yeah, I mean, like, the reality is, if I don't play this fucking game, it will only be because I just don't want motherfuckers chirping at me. I'll, 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 I'll tell you right now. Like, it doesn't matter how big of a fucking trans ally I am. Uh, it does not matter. People love people radlibs especially this is one issue that like radlibs love getting upset over Cons consumer side activism of this sort um so that's where that will come from so many of your haters who hate trans people would be ruining running with it because they hate you more oh yeah 100 percent. if it was an idea led by a trans content creator it would be fun and there would be no problem but since it's your idea you'd be getting piled on by everyone <laughs> hello have you met trans discourse are you insane I would never let a trans uh, content creator put themselves at the forefront of that conversation because if there's one thing trans people hate more than like transphobia, it's other trans content creators. Okay, are you fucking kidding me? Have you met a trans content creator? Trans people understand that cis people get away with way more transphobic shit because like they have that built in uh, understanding that like society is transphobic so the fucking pedestal that they hold trans uh, content creators to is like way the microscope that they place trans content creators under is way worse also every trans person is automatically a poster so i think every trans person legitimately low-key thinks like i could be that person so that that it makes it so much worse you a bitch unfollowed <laughs> What? I think $60 payout to the game to what? I think a $60 payout to the game to raise. Well, first of all, I never said I would buy it. But even if I didn't, it doesn't matter. Me playing it as a Twitch streamer definitely markets it more. I mean, you motherfuckers started playing. There's people in this community that started playing Valorant, okay? Like, 
Twitch streamers demonstrably when they play. Can you please intervene before we have another Gamba scandal? I'm sure you went over this already, but man, some people in this chat really showed their colors last night. Leftists, but can't help themselves from being smarmy, condescending assholes during gaming, let alone this game. Well, I think part of it is also that, like, people fear the same backlash that I am also, like, like, I know for a fact that I will be receiving, right? So, um, they are just, like, worried about that. And they don't want to fucking be, like, defending me on the internet or whatever when that happens. Suddenly, they're evil and a terrible person. Was my fave last week, though. Would rather they die this week. What is this? Let's see what I'm this still argument supporting is. Supporting J.K. Rowling is an act of hostility towards your trans friends. <laughs> so obviously, don't buy Hogwarts Legacy. But also, just because something doesn't directly put money in. Bro, it's like, listen, you want to know the truth? If this fucking Hogwarts Legacy game is as good as like Chick fil A sandwiches are, nobody will give a fuck about this, okay? That's just the reality. I don't know why people fucking make like this into into this like weird political perspective. Gay people and trans people eat at fucking Chick-fil-A all the goddamn time. You want to know why? Because the chicken is good and the sauces are fucking dank. Okay, that's it. What happened? What happened to the fucking consumer side activism on that front? Because it doesn't matter. Ultimately, it literally doesn't matter. Like no guy is going, oh, man, I can't believe no one is going to go, oh, man, this AAA title that is, like, going to literally be a blockbuster sales uh, is going to have blockbuster sales that's, like, only tangentially only tangentially associated with J.K. Rowling's IP that she created many, many years ago that every single person who's, like, built a career around at this point is, like, abandoned J.K. Rowling. It'll get review bombed. It'll get review bombed by like Normans probably, and then it'll get counter reviewed by bombed by transphobes who'll give it like a one hundred percent. It's like such a weird thing. So you are saying pre ordering is transphobic, but once the reviews come out, it's okay. No, no, no. I'm not saying, dude. I don't think playing this fucking game is transphobic. You're delusional. <laughs> what? I never even said that. That was funny because, like, you didn't even accuse me of, like, you know, being a bad person or anything. You just, like, made up something that was weird that, like, I certainly didn't say at all. But also, like, it didn't even, I don't know. Imagine going to work. But guys, people said cyberpunk was transphobic, okay? But the reason why people didn't end up playing cyberpunk was because they were f just unable to. And cyberpunk was not transphobic. Like, everything, like, it's crazy. I, I just don't know. I don't know how to, like, I, I've, I've argued about this shit a bunch of times. And I, I do think it's, like, ultimately counterproductive, silly, and dumb. I don't know. I just, who cares? I don't care. I don't. SJWs don't buy Hogwarts Legacy. J.K. Rowling is transphobic. I mean, most people are going to be like that. I don't care. She'll be using as anti-Semitic undertones and forces you to stop a slave uprising. I'm actually more interested in the anti-Semitic undertones and, and the fact that it, like, forces you to stop a slave uprising and covering that than anything else, really. When I think about it, I feel like that's way, way, way more interesting than, like, J.K. Rowling being a transphobe, which is, like, established. Everybody fucking knows it. I'm going to not be able to stop playing with my hair now that I fucking got it. Everyone in here is spending so much effort rationalizing support for hateful people businesses because they just want to be mindless consumer drones that keep their treats. They want someone else to solve the problem. This is counterproductive in my opinion. Or they personally understand that like playing a fucking video game or watching a fucking movie is not activism. Just like stopping yourself from watching a movie or playing a fucking video game is not activism, which it isn't. Sorry to break it to all of you motherfuckers, but it's not. It is just like literally the most liberal way of looking at things, and it's built on the fundamental uh, plank of powerlessness. Into her pocket does not mean that she's not making money off of it. Whether it's a Harry Potter themed birthday party or a TikTok video, or you go around for an icebreaker saying your Hogwarts house, none of those things are going to actually give JK Rowling directly money. But what they do give her is cultural significance. 
Because if the people who decide what movies or games or books to make look at the world and see that everyone is still talking about Harry Potter, of course they're going to make more Harry Potter. They want money, and that's a great way to get it. Yeah, most people also like Harry Potter, and they literally want to make more Harry Potter. What is J.K. Rowling's involvement with the game? Is this a new story? J.K. Rowling is not involved in the creation of the game, but as the creator of the Wizarding World and one of the world's greatest storytellers, her extraordinary body of writing is the foundation of all projects in the Wizarding World. This is not a new story from J.K. Rowling. However, we have collaborated closely with her team on all aspects of the game to ensure it remains in line with the magical experiences fans expect. Okay, what the official FAQ literally still says, like, J.K. Rowling is goaded. I feel like bullying people into not buying the game will have the opposite effect people think it would have. I feel like it would increase hatred. I, no, I, I just, like, all of that stuff is tangential, or, or, or not tangential, sorry. All of that stuff is marginal, okay? It's marginal. It's marginal. It's not going to do anything. It's just going to individually annoy some people, okay? But those people are not going to become transphobic. They were already transphobic. Society is fucking transphobic. Hello? Like, J.K. Rowling? isn't transphobic because she like personally decided one day that a trans person offended her. She's transphobic because she's British and that's her culture. Okay. She can't stop herself from being transphobic. British people are so fucking transphobic that even when Scotland's like, Hey, yeah, like let's, let's do something about this gender stuff. They're like, no, you will not. I will stop you. How dare you halt. Okay. That's just how it is. They can't stop. They can't stop themselves. Hold now! Cease! Austin, I summarize the pros and cons for you. Uh, Hassan plays soccer so you can see most money raised for trans charity ever gets non politic streamers involved to support pro trans message to their fans. Headlines about bigot JK Rowling's game being used for transgender activism. People donate even more despite JK Rowling. Some viewers find the game fun and buy it. JK Rowling's still a billionaire. Hassan doesn't play Hogwarts Legacy. No money for actual trans people. J.K. Rowling's still a billionaire. Well, people are still going to fucking turn around and say it doesn't matter because, like, Hassan could raise money for trans people without uh, playing this game, which is an adequate fucking answer, uh, except if you're looking at it from a utilitarian perspective, if you're, like, that fucking interested in this, then the reality is, no, way more eyeballs when I play Hogwarts Legacy versus, and, and way more money raised versus when I raise it on my own for some other shit. Also... One of the funniest parts about this is literally that uh, Harry Potter and the franchise in and of itself is like pretty basic. Like I loved it when I was growing up. Yeah, so it's not an adequate answer at all. Wait, no, I already gave it a counter. Uh, yes, this, this, this is way more PR, way more media involved, directly fucking uh, cutting a message behind, uh, across it. Yeah, here's what I was talking about. It'll, it will be funny, though. It will be funny when people are just like, wow, Hassan really fucking... Hassan is such a transphobe. Like, you know, you know how it is. Hassan is such a transphobe. <laughs> Look at him platforming JK Rowling. <laughs> My main question is, do you think the game looks fun? I don't think it's transphobic to play. I just think the game looks bad. Um, well, I, I did grow up with the Harry Potter franchise. So, like, part of me... I mean, I, you saw that. When I went to Universal Studios, uh, you saw how much uh i i you know weaved out there so it probably would be good if you do the fundraiser you have to bring the shirt back oh yeah i love this um uh, i was bat chesting pretty hard damage done to leftism by continuing to paint us as anti-fun freaks does more damage than not playing helps in my opinion yeah wow i've never even heard of jk rowling or harry potter until hassan platformed them thanks at least you don't have takes about the game like this, brain dead. By buying this game, you support transphobic values. I say, as the metal in my cell phone used to record this video was mined by child slave labor. I mean, but that's not wrong. Like, sure, this seems, this is coming across like a reactionary take, but it's literally true. There is no ethical consumption under capitalism. He is right. The act man, whether or not he's reactionary or whatever the fuck, whether or not you like him, this statement is true. Every component of your fucking, every component of your life, and you have to recognize this at some point. Sometimes people who are right-wing or reactionary, I don't know if he is, but like, those people sometimes make correct points. This is one of those instances. It's a correct point. It's just in the now, in the moment. He's saying this to defend consumerism and capitalism. We'll left to say it has the same effect whether they want it or not. Yeah, I mean, it's just... 
You might be doing this to defend consumer uh, consumerism and capitalism, but ultimately, it is the truth. It doesn't matter. It's still the truth. Everybody loved when I fucking played... Everybody loved when I fucking played Call of Duty, and that shit was, like, baked in with an infinite amount of fucking uh, uh, Western imperialist agitated propaganda. Um, but now it'll become a, a point of discourse and people will get like really fucking annoyed and people will say I'm transphobic and people will like fuck me up, uh, in the QRTs or whatever. And then like every, every like random account, every random like sock them trans account that already fucking hates me will have their opportunity to be like, Hassan sucks. He's always been a transphobe, 30,000 likes, whatever, yada, yada. I don't care about all that stuff. I, I do care about it. Is it like as it impacts my mental health, obviously, I care about it to that degree because it does then also cuck the content a little bit when I do feel uh, so sad because there's always, like, a sea of, like, hate rating coming in. Does anyone know if JK donates the anti-trans causes? <laughs> what do you mean donate? She is the anti-trans cause. As a billionaire, she has set up anti-trans uh, causes. Here it is. For me, in particular, you mentioned not supporting Chick-fil-A and not supporting Harry Potter is the same. I think there's a difference, though, between the owner of the IP who has little control over the evolution of their work and a corporation donating to anti-LGBT organizations. Don't think they still do that. Wait, what? Chick-fil-A still absolutely does that. The guy who owns it does it. And ultimately, it doesn't matter because the chicken is good. J.K. Rowling also still does it, but doesn't have the same level of control over the fucking IP that, like, the Chick-fil-A owner does. What do you mean? In the meat cause, that's the idea. That's actually kind of funny. There is no... Hi. Hi. There is no ethical consumption under capitalism. She's right. It's fair. Hi. Durf, thank you for the two months. So playing the Harry Potter game is less worse than eating at Chick-fil-A. I mean, it doesn't matter. We shouldn't have to deal with so many haters in the chat. Like, obviously, there'll be some, but so many all the time is exhausting as a viewer. Yeah, it sucks. But yeah, no. Uh, J.K. Rowling is like a uniquely awful, uniquely evil person. But the reason why everybody talks about her all the fucking time is because she's like Elon Musk. She can't shut the fuck up. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's it. If she just shut the fuck up. If she just shut the fuck up. Shut her stupid fucking mouth up. And just like lived in her castle or whatever the fuck she did. Instead of being the most smarmy, annoying fucking turf on the goddamn planet. Nobody would give a shit. That's it. That's why people people are terminally online. Everything that we perceive as activism happens on the internet. And basically, that's it. That's, that's it. That's like, that's the reason. Saying J.K. Rowling is evil is a wild take, and that's coming from a pretty big snowflake myself. Wait, what? Dude, no, I think she objectively is a bad person. What the fuck do you mean? That's not, that's not a wild take. She unironically and objectively is an evil person. If you look to like one of the most universally marginalized communities and say those guys are the villains that run society and I'm going to do everything in my power to increase their fucking suicide rates, you are literally like, you're, you, I, I don't even know what words to use when I'm talking about like how big of a scumbag you are, okay? You made billions of dollars off of an IP that like a lot of people loved, Okay. And then you turned around and now use every fucking moment of freedom that you have to just like shit on some of the most marginalized people in society. It's straight up evil. It's literally like turning around and being like, yeah, we should actually uh, kill more babies in Yemen. You know what I mean? Like I'm, a, I'm, pro, I'm pro baby murder in Yemen, actually, I've decided. I'm pro war on terror in Iraq that has led to uh, higher birth defects than fucking Hiroshima and Nagasaki. You know, that's, that's what it feels like. It's insane. It, what she's doing is awful. She's the awful person. But it's not because... She, but there are plenty of awful people. The systems are designed in an awful way. What, what you fail to recognize is that it's not that she's also uniquely awful. She can't shut the fuck up. That's the main reason. Because she thinks she's right, she's smarmy, and she's constantly fucking going around... And just chirping about how uh, trans people suck. That's it. That's the big difference. That's what differentiates her from like every other British person. You know what I mean? Plenty of British people are turfs. They can't help themselves. This is how they are. You know? It's just a fundamental part of being British. 